Hey, welcome back to the Moe Mon playthrough, I guess. Hey, welcome back. Gator Snapper playthrough, Moe Mon Emerald. Uh, three weeks ago, I, st I recorded this here episode, and today I actually remember that Steven told me to go meet him in his house. Probably because I need HM Dive, which is very good that I actually remembered this thing, because if I went by without getting that, I probably would have been fucked at some point. Because you know how the fucking HMs are. It's always like, oh, cool, you got this thing, and now you can go somewhere where you're demanded to go. Actually, fuck. I don't even know where Steven's house is. Asshole invites me over, doesn't even give me directions. That just shows how committed he is to this relationship. Just like, yes, I really want you to come here. I really want to hang out with you. Here's not my address. And it's like, oh, cool, I, I like you too, Steven. Thanks for this. Uh, let's see, is this, is, it's, it's gotta have, like, a sign in front of it. There's no way with this game they wouldn't do that. Cause, like, this is a game, <laughs> this is a game meant for children, and here I am playing it. Also, this is a game with a bunch of skimpily dressed pokies. Is skimpily a word? I'm gonna say skimpily is a word. Is skimpy? Wait, what the fuck is skimp? What the fuck did I come up with? There's scamps? Like, yeah, like, little orphan children, they're, those are scams, but... What the- skimpy? Isn't I like to dress provocatively? Maybe? I don't fucking know. All I do know is apparently Steven's house is invisible. So let's just go into them one at a time. Somebody that plays this game all the time is already like, You pass over it! How could you? Steven's waiting for you! He's, his heart is going doki doki in anticipation- There he is! How's your heart going, buddy? Oh, is this where I get a fossil? Or do you just have fucking eggs on display? Yeah, you know they can't breathe in there, they're gonna die. Bitch I. As you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. You're like the grown-up version of Gary. He doesn't have a dad or a room. Thank you for all that you've done. This is my token of appreciation. Yeah, there you go. Hidden Machine Drive. Oh, Dive. Sorry. I thought it said Hidden Machine Drive. I said, like, whoa, that's the full title of an HM? No need to be shy. You've earned this HM. Yay, I've got a move that's gonna be wasted on somebody, or rather the person is gonna be wasted on the move. While you're using Surf, you should notice dark patches of water. Use Dive if you come to deep water like it. You'll drop to the seafloor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again, and some places won't be possible to Surf. Cool. Th was that really it? Not even gonna say, like, not even gonna invite me over for dinner or anything? You're just like, here's this CD, now go home and <laughs> rip a couple copies of it. Any of the proceeds you make go to me, though. <laughs> I wonder if that's a problem in Pokemon Universe. Hello? Oh. Uh, okay, I was like, did somebody just call me to not answer? May- oh, god, it's me. Hi, bitch, I- I was just a Pacif- Pacifidlog- what? Is that a place? Pacif- is that Pacifidlog? Pacifidlog? Is that an O? That's not an O, that is a D. Pacifidlog. That is the worst fucking name of a city. A little while ago, I saw a giant gray Pokemon fly high in the sky. I've never seen anything like it. Its penile shape really got me gutting randy. I wonder what it was. Is this just maybe a discovery? Mmm. I love how my character does not speak. I get these kinds of things to happen. She calls me and then just hangs up immediately. Cool. Well, that was Rayquaza, if anybody was wondering. And if anybody's also wondering... Actually, I was going to say I'm not going to go after it, but it's kind of fun to go after it. It's the only thing to really... Oh, no. I was going to say it's the only thing to save a Master Ball for, but that's motherfucking Latios or Latias, or both? I think both are in this game. Yeah, so I only have a choice of catching one, huh? That's fair. Actually, how do I get off of this damn island? Let's see... Hoenn map. Yay! I was afraid I was going to have to really look for it. Is this Pacific Log? Not Sutopolis. Why is Sutopolis over there? I thought Sutopolis was over here, where all the suit was. Okay, well, oh no, I need to go to Sutopolis next. And, yeah, wait, no. Is Evergrande City the Elite Four? Huh, I don't know. Oh, and there's Pacific- Oh, I just remembered Pacific Log. It's the place with all the logs. Wow, what a weird fucking idea for a city. Just like a bunch of logs floating on the ocean. Like, the most dangerous fucking thing. <laughs> like, the most dangerous place to put your city. Anyways, I guess we should go to Sutopolis since it's close, or Evergrande, I don't know, I don't even re I, why is it called Evergrande City? I thought it was just like, go th like the Elite Four typical bullshit, like go through their stupid tunnel of trials and whatnot. Oh well, whatever, let's go surfing, I wish I had something, do I have a repel? Because I am not looking forward to fucking flying through the ocean with all these little assholes chasing after me. I still think that's a problem Pokemon. I don't think they got rid of it in Sun and Moon. I don't remember. Oh, good, a super repel. 
Because, like, I know they make it where you have different uh, Pokemon that have basically the HMs. I wonder if they can, if you can avoid, uh, like, ocean-faring Pokemon as well. I would hope so. I hate going through, I hate going through caves in the ocean. And, wow, speaking of this, this is somehow, like, a really good feeling of, like, wow, you're on the vast open sea, there's nothing. Except for these dive patches, which I don't care about. Uh, let's see, quickest way to Sutopolis. Oh. Wow, the ocean is not as vast as I thought it was if I already passed the damn city. Okay, well, let's go over here. Actually, ugh, I think I need to actually... Yeah, I need to dive to get in. That's so stupid. I hate dive. Let's see, I think it's just like a little... It's like a little thing you go into. Maybe it's telling me to go to Pacific Log. Oh, really? That was too soon. Yeah, maybe it's just asking me to go straight to Pacific Log and then go to Sutopolis? Because I Evergrande City can't be the next place I go to. I don't fucking know. I'm coming up with all these things. Don't even have a good explanation for it. Uh, ooh, rude dude. Ah. Uh, oh, I didn't heal you. Oh god, my party is m must be dead. Oh wait, no, that wasn't after the gym. That's after fighting um Krampus or whatever. Okay, let's see. Um, fuck it. I was like, I need to train people, but I also don't care. So I'm sure their well-being is fine. Let's see. Aww. Oh god, I'm skipping. You know what? I was about to be upset. Like I'm skipping all the tr over all the trainers. How am I gonna, you know, train? Oh, oh hey, here we go. Level 35 tentacle. That's pretty good training. Uh, oh man. I was about to say, shouldn't I have, like, um, EXP share by now? Which, maybe I should have it. But then I also remembered, it's not gonna train everybody, so what's the fucking point of having it? I remember, it was in this series, oh, so long ago in the series, where I was like, Ugh, EXP share training everybody, that's too easy. I like my Pokemon playthroughs to be really dull and boring. Yeah, I say a lot of things without thinking, and then I come back to them. I'm like, mm, you know what, I'd rather have the game be easier for me. I'd rather have it be very convenient. Why do you think I- seriously, oh my god. I'm shitting on like a whole team worth of EXP share, and meanwhile, here I am using every fucking rare candy I can cheat my way into to like level up my team. It's not even good level ups. They don't even like have all their, you know, hidden invisible stats that may or may not exist. I mean, I'm pretty sure they do exist. Everyone's so convinced about them. How could they not exist? You know, like how how everyone believes that the world is round. Some people believe it's flat. That's got to count for something. Oof. I, you know what? I was gonna say I want to meet one of those people, one of the flat Earth society, as they call them. But uh, no. That's one of the few. Not one of the few. That's one of the many, many people I never want to meet. Just you know. It's not hard to tell the Earth isn't, you know, flat. It's a pretty round object. You can see it as you're looking over the fucking horizon. You don't see the whole planet. This ain't Halo or something where you're on, you know, the Halo. You can see, well, I guess the Halo is more of the opposite situation. You can see everything because it's specifically ring-shaped. But I don't know, if the Earth was flat, you could definitely see, like, everything. I mean, ooh, actually, that'd be kind of... I want. I wonder what the Earth would be like if it was flat. Because, I mean, no, you couldn't see everything. That'd be too fucking... Oof, that'd be mind-boggling. But, uh, no, it has, um... I mean, like, the atmosphere would have to get in the way at some point, right? Uh, what the fuck? How do I get to... I bet I've already completely passed the fucking place to go into Sutopolis. No, wait, no, not entirely. I guess I really... Oh, God, I hate that. Oh, yeah, just make them dive. They'll find their own way in. Maybe I should just go to Pacific Log. Wait, if it's red, can't I just fly into it? No, I think I, ha I had to have been there. There's no way they'd let me just do that. I wish. That'd be cool. God, how much would it suck if Sutopolis was actually the fucking place where uh, the Elite Four was? You know, fuck, I'm just gonna go to fucking uh, Pacific Log, because it seems to be a lot easier to get to at this point. Although, I will admit if I come across the dive patch, I'm probably gonna go straight into it. Uh, dive patch sounds like something that'd be in Subnautica. You know, fix all the glitches that'll happen when you, as soon as you touch the water. A whole game about being in the water, and as soon as you touch the water, you'll probably explode. No. I'm actually, uh, you know what? Yeah, it's already completely given away at this point. Ah, oh, fuck my life. Oh, what am I doing? I can do this. Yeah, it's already, I've, just by mentioning that, it's already completely given away, but, uh, I actually am planning on playing Subnautica soon, because, weirdly enough, people have asked for that. It's weird. Every single comment I think I've ever gotten, well, okay, not every single comment, but the bulk majority of comments I've ever gotten in videos has been solely focused on a game, not even a game, like a mod for Skyrim I played ages ago, 
where there's just a bunch of underwater monsters. It was, it was an okay mod, and there's one moment of, like, absolute terror. But, uh, yeah, ever since then, people have been like, you should play, um, the game with all the underwater terrors, Subnautica. And I was like, damn, I don't want to. But if people are asking for it, it'd be kind of a shit move to not do it. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll play Subnautica. Eventually, though, it's gonna be a while, because I still have... The only series I'm close to, or I've, the only series I've completed, I still have like five weeks before it's actually done with. Why am I trying to learn Slam? I guess I should get rid of Pursuit. Because it's, oh no, Absorb. If anything, Absorb. Yeah, it's too weak. Yeah, good. I was about to be like, maybe I shouldn't learn Slam. That'd be kind of a waste of the space, right? Yeah, no, it only does like fucking 90 power, whereas Absorb does 20. I swear to god, I'm supposed to know Giga Drain by now or something. This is some horse shit. Oh, she- wait, what was it? Sheel? Oh, Sfeel, the little shit. Okay. Uh, in that case, for the little shit, we have one vibe. Ugh. Gross. You don't want to put that in your little shit. Okay, go on, vibe. Do something nasty. <laughs> Stick your sharp parts into its juncular region. Hello- oh, it's so- oh. Damn it. I forgot it wasn't gonna be the actual spiel. I was gonna I had a whole comment ready to be like, oh, it's so cute, and then it's that. It's literally just a disembodied little girl head with two arms. It's like only half of her. The rest got cut off. It's like the end of uh ooh, House of Four no. Oh, what is that JRP not even JRPG, but uh It's one of those RPG horror games. Oh, and you're in the house and it has a really sad ending. Oh, I hated it. The, like, the true ending of that game sucks. It's so sad. Oh, and you too. Floating on the open sea like this sure is peaceful. I'm sure it is, asshole. I, sh I sure hope you don't get eaten. Wink, wink. Hands are crossed behind my back. Oh my god! I love your hair, but it also brings with it scary implications. Hey, let's just do a little bit of killing. Are you more poison or water, or are you that weird, stupid, balanced out nonsense? Let's figure it out! Yay! Go on, Leaf Blade! Let's see. I really wish I could pick which Pokémon I sent in first. I was kind of shitting against it before, but... I think if there was, like, a little rock, paper, scissors thing, you should be able to, like, pick who you send out first. But then again, it's also, like, okay the way it is, where... Or not okay, but it makes sense the way it is, where it's just, like, you pick ahead of time. But then people just look it up on the internet. So what does it matter? You People just pick... Well, then again, I guess with these minor trainers. Well, very few people probably have, like, every single Pokemon trainer, like, their set of Pokemon memorized, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, shit, I have nobody good against water, which sucks. The next gym I'm going against is specifically Water Ice. Yay. I think I'm... As long as it's part water, I think I'm relatively fine. I've got three things against that. I got Torkoal, I got uh, Vibe, whose Pokemon name I don't really remember, and I got uh, the thing I do. Morally ambiguous, that's the one. And hell, maybe even one of my other Pokemon kind of like sideboards into that, like they're they're kind of investing on the side into uh, hurting ice. I don't know who it would be, it's definitely not Rufy to Bane is actually completely fucked against ice. And oof, who is the last Pokemon? I'm sure they're super important and their feelings will be hurt if I don't remember them. I actually gotta know this, who is my other Pokemon? Watch, I'm already, I've already counted six. Uh, Headwing! Oh, wow, you're really important. How could I have forgotten about you? Sorry. Did not mean to be so rude, but... Ah, uh, shit. I was actually trying to skip over them, because I'm tired of being... Ex ah, I'm tired of being bothered on the open sea. I'm trying to relax here, and I hear these fucking gray-headed aliens attacking me with their big old googly eyes. Oh, Staryu. Oh, I kind of like Staryu. She looks like she has two swords hidden behind her back. She's gonna kick that shit out of somebody. Although I gotta admit, I don't quite understand her, like, her star- because it's based off of Staryu, but what's the Staryu design? Like, shouldn't she have, like, two more little fucking nit brass blades sticking out of her back? I mean, hell, it's nitpicking, but it's it's well-deserved nitpicking, I'll have you know. I don't know, her head <laughs> Actually, the more I'm imagining it, the more she's just gonna look like Maggie in her fucking, like, snow pajamas or something from The Simpsons, so... Eh, I don't know. I like that design more than that fucking Maggie... fucking whatever, snow pajamas outfit. There's a real word for it. I think it's called a jacket. Yeah, there you go. That's the real word that Gator Snapper neglects to use. Oh, man. I am on a roll today. 
I'm just thinking about that. Because I've been gone for long enough where I need to record four episodes of this. And I'm just remembering every, like, for the last three sessions when I've been playing Moemon, I peter out by, like, literally episode two. So, hey, this is going to be a fun uh, recording session, I bet. Paired with the fact that Ninja Blade gets to come after this. Oh boy, do I love Ninja Blade. Oh god, and after that's Resident Evil. Four episodes of that will actually just kill me because it's... Uh, it's just so stressful. It's not even scary anymore. Well, it is scary. It's probably still going to be scary. It's just the stress takes priority over everything else. Uh, what? How do you... Okay, whatever. I was like, how do you not... How are you not super effective loss against fucking grass, but... Ugh, you and your damn flying. Pokemon raised by trainers are seriously tough. What, what the fuck were you doing? Did you just tie a string to a Pelipper and hope it fucking help you out? You're an asshole. That's against PETA's rules and regulations. Speaking of, there's that same Pelipper, just, you know, five levels down. Yes, good. I was afraid I miscounted my math. I'm glad to know that I still know basic elementary school math. Well, on that note, I guess I'm going to end this episode on the cruel, merciless sea, so yeah. Been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.